Hey, Ben Kaiser here. Thanks for tuning in to another tutorial with Learning InDesign at Home. And right now, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to convert those images from RGB to CMYK. And we're going to create an action to do so. So let's head on over to the screen and we'll get you started. All right, welcome into my screen here. Thanks for joining us again today. And right now, we're going to be working inside of Photoshop. All right, so once you get loaded into Photoshop, I want you to click, you can right click a photo and open in Photoshop. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to create an action so that we can replicate this system in order to save us time. If we do not see the actions panel, I want you to come up here and click Window, Actions. All right, now what we'll do is we're going to come up and we're going to click New Action. And I'm going to name this CMYK Convert. All right, now when we hit Record, you're going to see this red light come on. That means that anything we do while we're recording will be taken in and made into an action. So we're going to come up here, click Image, Mode, and CMYK. All right, now come over, click stop, and you have officially created your action, which is turn to CMYK. Okay, so now, how do we convert all of our images into this CMYK profile? Well, first, let's save our images in a new folder called RGB. And now we're going to create a second folder called CMYK. And we'll move all of our images into this RGB folder. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to save this image as a CMYK. Now we can automate this process. You click File, Automate, Batch. Now what this means is we're going to batch process a folder of files. And as you see here, I have my CMYK convert action selected. And we're going to select a source folder. Tutorial, links, RGB. All right, and then my destination, we're going to choose that CMYK folder links, CMYK. All right, make sure everything looks good and click OK. Now while we're waiting, what it's doing is it's converting all of those images into CMYK from RGB. It's using that action we created. Pretty nifty. I mean, this would have taken us at least five or 10 minutes just to open each one, convert it, save it, move it into a new folder. And it's done all of this automatically for us. Pretty incredible. All right, let's check it out. And there are all of our CMYK photos. Well, thanks for tuning in today on this episode on how to convert RGB into CMYK for your InDesign files. Now, on the next episode, as promised, we're going to jump in and start creating a stunning newsletter with InDesign. Please hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our tutorials and graphic design reviews, as well as the like button if this video has helped you at all. Thank you for tuning in today. We'll see you here on the next episode.